What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Cooking with Mamalu. My name is Aaron, and this is my Mamalu. Judy Marion. Judy Marion. Today we are dressed up with some flowers, kind of Hawaiian shirts, because this is our summer theme. We want to give you a couple of quick recipes that are great for barbecuing and, uh, you know, perfect for the outdoors. Mom, what are we making today? We're making tandoori prawns, which is very good for the barbecue season. You don't have to get into the kitchen and slog over there, so it's better to have uh, barbecue tandoori prawns. And I hope you'll all like it. Yeah, something quick, something easy, and, uh, you know, get some fresh air as well. Are you excited for the summer? Oh, yeah. What are you most excited about? Because I don't have to go into the kitchen. I could not have to go to the backyard. <laughs> where Mr. Randolph Man will do the barbecue for all of us. So she gets to cook less, and uh, my dad will get to do all uh, the barbecuing. Let's quickly show you what we are going to put on the skewer, how we're going to clean the shrimp, and uh, cook it. And it's going to be uh, all done. Okay, so for our skewers, we have pineapples, some tomatoes, some red onions, mixed peppers, mushrooms. We have actually had these skewers here. Pro tip, make sure that you have them soaking in water for about 30 minutes so uh, when you're actually putting them on the barbecue, they don't burn, okay? Next up, we are going to show you how to de-vein and clean the prawns. I'm using fresh prawns this time because it's nice and big. You can use whatever prawns you want. And for those who do not know how to clean the prawns, this is the way you clean it. You just have to take away the shells, throw it away, take out all this, devein the prawns from the top, just slice it open, open it out and you'll find like a thin black vein, so all white. So this is it. And just drop it in water so that it doesn't stick to your hands. And that's it. What happens actually when you don't uh, clean the insides? What what happens if you don't take out those veins? They say it gives you an upset tummy, but I'm not sure whether it's true. So it might get you sick, and sometimes people say it tastes a little dirty. It tastes yeah. like kind of like muddy. You can get the shrimps already like frozen, just thaw it out and clean. Just want to see what tastes nice and fresh. So we cleaned everything and hope you guys do it as well. So we're gonna add the shrimp, the prawns to the bowl here. And mom, what's the what's going inside there? I'm gonna add chili powder. Depends how much chili powder you want to put, depends on the amount of the prawns. Tandoori powder, ginger garlic paste, salt, a little mustard oil, lemon. I'm just adding some salt, salt to taste. Salt to taste. Some chili powder. These are about uh, 19 prawns here. And then the tandoori masala, this is the, the main ingredient here. Say one tablespoon. Another tablespoon of tandoori masala. Say one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. A little mustard oil, not too much, okay? Just a little. Just use regular olive oil if you like mustard oil. It does have a bit of flavor, but if you don't have it, just put a little bit of olive oil and uh, you're good to go. And then some lemon citrus. Just make sure the seeds don't go in. We're just gonna mix it up. I like to do it by hand. Gonna taste a little. Mmm. You could put uh, with chicken or beef or anything, right? The same tandoori masala. Yeah. So yeah. So just substitute uh, with whatever you like. Don't eat seafood. Uh, we're a fan of shrimp, so we're gonna do shrimp. So you can see the the beautiful red color. Absolutely delicious. I forgot to uh, actually season the veggies here, so I don't want it to burn. I'm gonna add some olive oil, salt, and pepper to taste. We're gonna skewer these bad boys. Okay, so this first skewer is gonna be for Mamalu. Mom, what what kind of veggies do you want on yours? All of it: onions, tomatoes, mushrooms, everything, pineapples. So you can skewer it whichever way you like. The best part about using shrimp as well is that it's super easy to cook. It's super fast. So we're putting two shrimp each. Okay, like we'll the get next your couple. One. Extra one. Our extra pineapple, pepper. Let's put another shrimp in here. Look at the color of these things. Absolutely delicious. These are great party favors to bring for other people as well. If you're going to a barbecue party or something like that, I would highly recommend bringing this instead of just some cake. There you go. So take a look. So that's one done. Got a few more to go. Okay, so we're gonna quickly preheat our barbecue, which we actually did. Make sure it's all ready to go. Mom uh, added some purified butter and some olive oil. We're just gonna baste this to be ready for the main event. Here comes the squares, all in beautiful colors. Hope all of you will try this lovely dish. And now it goes to the grill. And here, Aaron, please take it. <laughs> it's grilling time. Okay, hear that sizzle. So we had some because uh, we ran out of shrimp that we made with just veggies alone. For all the veggie lovers out there, it's beautiful sizzle. Okay, and then we're gonna baste it. Just some more of that purified butter and some of that olive oil. And let's just let it cook for a little bit. 
All right, these are almost ready to go, but uh, you know what? We're gonna switch it out. But I'm feeling a little thirsty. Besides Coke or Pepsi products, because we're Indian, I think we should do our own classic thumbs up. Carl, pass me the thumbs up, please. Guys, dude. Big sip. Oh, All right, hope you guys uh, enjoyed that uh, quick little recipe there. I promise if you bring these to your uh, barbecue party or birthday party, it's gonna be a hit. You're definitely gonna be well liked. Mommy, are you excited to eat some of these? Oh yes, for sure, but not alone. It needs to go along with something and that's beer. Ooh, she wants a beer to go along with it. We're gonna enjoy this now. Hope you guys try it. All right, mom, so you got any uh, last minute words for these guys here? I hope you like and subscribe to my channel and the more videos are coming your way. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much, bye. guys, and enjoy. Bye-bye.